Good evening, everybody, and thanks for joining us. Marissa has the night off, and Lane continues to be a powerful Category 4 storm. But now, Oahu is under a hurricane warning, along with the islands of the Big Island, the Hawaii Island, and Maui. We can tell you the storm is packing winds now of 145 miles per hour, still making its way, generally speaking, right at the state. Here's the latest developments first. All public and charter schools shut down tomorrow and Friday. Some shelters already open on Maui and the Big Island, but Oahu will not be opening up any shelters until tomorrow morning. On Oahu, the bus will stop all operations at 6 o'clock tomorrow night, and non-essential city and state employees are being told to stay home and stay off the roads. We'll have more on all of that in a moment, but first, I want to get right to Justin Cruz for the very latest on Hurricane Lane and its track. Just Thanks a lot, Dash. I actually have a bit of positive news. Lane is still a very powerful system, but the weakening trend has begun, and it has started to weaken down to winds that are around 145 miles per hour around the center of the system. Again, this is still a thriving, healthy Category 4 system, but that gradual weakening trend has begun thanks to some wind shear that is starting to affect uh, Hurricane Lane. Again, winds are at 145, still a cat four. And as the system starts to continue to churn and starts to move to the north, we do expect more wind shear to continue that weakening trend. Another bit of good news the track has shifted slightly away from the islands and to the left. We still have a category four and then a category three system to the west of the Big Island and to the south of Maui through Thursday. And then you see this turn as a Category 2 and as a Category 1 towards the west. The cone of uncertainty does not include any longer the Big Island and parts of Maui County. However, the impacts still are wider than the cone of uncertainty, and that includes the threat for tropical storm force winds. We're talking winds above 39 miles per hour. Much of the island chain is looking anywhere between a 60 to a 70 percent chance of seeing at least 39 mile per hour winds. We're talking 39 to maybe 50 miles per hour with higher gusts. So again, the impacts are still there even though that track has shifted farther away. 15 to 25 foot surf, one to three foot storm surge, rainfall 10 to 15 inches through the, throughout this event, but some areas, especially near the mountains, could see up to 24 inches of rain and those strong winds again tropical storm force winds 30 to 40 plus miles per hour with gusts to 60 miles per hour and there could even be some tornadoes that are spawned. All right, let's talk about the heavy rain chances. Right now, we have a flood advisory for the Big Island, and the Big Island could see heavy rain through Friday. Overnight tonight, those rains will start to fill in to Maui County, and then eventually Oahu on Thursday and Kauai on late Thursday. Essentially, we have heavy rain possibilities now through late Sunday, perhaps even, or late Saturday evening, perhaps even Sunday morning. And be sure to download the KHON2 mobile app so that you'll always be in the know with any changes, good or bad, with Hurricane Lane's path. Let's check with Manolo Morales, who is at the Central Pacific Hurricane Center with more and an update. Manolo. Yeah, Justin, here with Chris Brenchley, the director here at the Central Pacific Hurricane Center. And I know you guys uh, take a very close look at this track for Hurricane Lane. And there's, there's this uncertainty part as it curves uh, to the west when it nears Oahu and Kauai. What is determining uh, when that happens and how far away that happens from, from Oahu and Kauai? Well, there are a lot of factors. Uh, the strength of lane as it, as it moves north is in question, as it encounters wind shear. How quickly does that disrupt lane and, and weaken it? Uh, that will, uh, as weak as it is, as it's weakening, uh, will determine when it makes that curve to the west. So a great deal of uncertainty in how, uh, what the timing of that will be. Okay, and, and we want it, obviously, the, the conditions that would be better for us is if it's as, as it weakens more and, and even and if it turns earlier then? Yeah, if it weakens more and it turns a bit earlier to the west, that, that keeps the center of the storm further away from the islands. Uh, you got to remember, though, uh, it's a big storm, so a lot of impacts are wrapping around, and so we are still going to see the effects, even if it turns west earlier, of the, especially the heavy rain and some of the high surf as well. And, and the storm uh, seems to be slowing down, which is sort of good and bad. 
Right, yeah. I mean, it, it, as it slows down, it maybe gives us time to prepare, a little bit more time to prepare. But at the, at the other side of the coin, uh, that rain sits and it continues to pour and it accumulates more and more and we have more flash flooding. So the threat of heavy rain grows even more as it slows even more, basically. Correct, yes.